Hi, this is Chris Cool with MTGOAcademy.com, and this tutorial will take us through a few key areas that everyone should visit after logging into Magic Online for the first time. The first is a pop-up that greets you immediately after you've logged in. The Player Reward Eligibility opt-in. This box has the Player Rewards Program Agreement information and allows you to join the program if you're eligible. You can also click the checkbox to join the mailing list if you so desire. The first area that you'll want to visit after you've logged into Magic Online is your collection, which can be reached by clicking the Collection tab or by going to Cards Collection. Once in the collection area, you will see your new account package. It's not tradable, so either you can leave it be and forgo the items inside, some M12 commons and uncommons, an M12 booster and two tickets along with the five basic avatars and a planeswalker pack, or open it. We'll choose to open it, which we can do by right-clicking the item and clicking open one of these, or open all of these. After you open the Planeswalker pack, a new cards window will open up showing you all of the items that you just received. As you can see, we have one booster pack of M12, a Planeswalker 2012 deck pack, two event tickets, five Vanguard avatars, and an assortment of M12 cards from the common and uncommon level, including basic lands. We'll click OK so this pop-up goes away and talk briefly for a moment about the cards that we have opened into our collection. If you've read in the beginning Oh So Many Choices, you'll know the last thing you want to do is open this booster pack. It's worth somewhere between three and four tickets unopened, but if you open it, it's only worth the value of the 15 cards inside. The average value of a booster pack is usually worth less after it's been opened than the price of a booster when it's still sealed. We also have two event tickets which are useful for playing in events or trading for cards. The item that warrants the most discussion is the Planeswalker pack. Planeswalker cards are gold bordered cards that can't be traded or removed from an account after the Planeswalker deck pack has been opened. If you do not plan on playing the Planeswalker format, you should not open the Planeswalker deck pack because there's no way to get it off your account. Since we plan on playing the Planeswalker format, we'll go ahead and open this because it's the same process as opening a booster and it'll show you a, a wide array of cards. Are we sure we want to open this pack? Yes. The new cards window pops up again and we see all the Planeswalker cards that we receive. Now that we have our new Planeswalker cards, let's go to the deck editor and practice building a deck. In the deck editor, you'll see all the cards that you own in the top window, immediately below it the deck that you're building, and below that the sideboard for the deck that you're building. Since we just opened our Planeswalker pack, we'll practice making a Planeswalker deck. You'll want to go to the All Cards Online filter and change it to filter only Planeswalker cards, which is near the bottom. This will make sure that we're only using the gold cards to build our deck. In the top left corner, you'll see the search bar where you can search for things like basic lands and different color filters. Since we're looking for basic lands and we don't want any cards that have basic land in the rules text, we'll only show colorless cards, which is done by right-clicking the colorless orb. With this filter selected, we still get a few cards that aren't basic lands themselves, but have basic land somewhere in their rules text, but that's okay as we've greatly lowered the amount of cards in the view. To add a card to your deck, you can double-click it, or right-click on the card and choose Add 1, Add 4, Add 10, or Add it to your sideboard to add it to your deck. To reset the filter to find other cards, we can click the reset button and all of the cards in our collection come up again. After we've reset the filter, we have to add another one for the Planeswalker filter so we only see those cards again. And all the Planeswalker cards are displayed. Once we've pulled up all the Planeswalker cards again, we'll want to do a couple filters to make building our deck easier. Since this deck is only going to have red and green cards, we'll right click the green icon and click the red icon and the colorless icon so only red, green, and colorless cards are displayed. We also don't want to add any more lands, so we'll remove lands from the cards shown by clicking the land icon. Now only red, colorless, and green cards are showing, but it's easier to build a deck if we organize them by mana cost. You can sort any of the categories in your collection card pool by clicking the header. Clicking mana once will display cards in ascending mana cost. Clicking it again will display cards in descending mana cost. 
The same logic applies for any of the other headers, but it'll organize alphabetically. After we've added all the cards that we want for our deck, we can organize the cards by name, color, converted mana cost, rarity, or creature type in the deck window. I prefer looking at my decks by converted mana cost to get a feel for how slow or fast it's going to be. If you're happy with your deck, it's easy to save it by just clicking the Save As button and typing in the name that you want to save the deck by, then clicking Save when you're done. It's worth noting that you can save a deck as a local deck, a local text deck, or a net deck. Net decks can be accessed from anywhere so long as you're on the same account. Local decks will save to the computer that you're on currently. We will save this as a net deck so we can log into it anywhere where there's a Magic Online client. You can also load decks that have already been built, such as one of the decks available for download in the article in the beginning, Oh So Many Choices, by clicking the Load icon. But once we have our deck, it's time to play. You can get to the play area by clicking Menu, Play, Casual Play, and going to the appropriate room. Planeswalker games are easiest to find in the New Players room. You can join a game by double-clicking on someone that has a game up and choosing your deck, or you can click New Game, make sure that you have the Planeswalker filter selected, and find the deck that you wish to use. Then click OK and start when someone joins. Before we play a game of Magic, we should go check our settings. To get to settings, you can click Menu, Settings, Personal Settings. In the Personal Settings window, you can put your name, email, and some miscellaneous information about yourself and select what is available to see for other people, as well as toggling several chat features on or off, such as the profanity filter. You also see the player rewards eligibility window that we were greeted with upon login, as well as the prize eligibility menu. If you click on display and sound, you can change things such as the in-game sound effects. I prefer to have both of mine at zero. This is also where you select your avatar. We'll choose a prodigal sorcerer avatar. From here you can go to your gameplay settings window. This is where you set stops during your different phases. I play with all of my stops on because it gives me the most amount of control. If time is an issue as you play, you should remove the stops that you don't find yourself needing often. Then there are other options to select based off your preference. The most important to me is the ability to disable foil animation. This makes Magic Online a little bit easier on your computer. After we have the settings the way that we want them, we can close the settings window. And this concludes our introductory tutorial on the Magic Online client. Thank you for watching.